Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Yesterday we had a very special update but before I do run you what we had in that update make sure you guys are smashing a like on this video and make sure you are hitting that subscribe button. But in yesterday's update it was a minor update if you will you probably might have not known it even happened. I didn't even know it happened until I looked over on Twitter and to be honest I don't have a clue what else happened in the update apart from this. The snake shot got a nerf. Oh my days, I'm so happy the amount of times I've run, I've run into this gun every single lobby I play, whether it be Warzone or Standard Multiplayer. Somebody is running around with an Akimbo snake shot. It's been, to be fair, the snake shot has been OP for a very, very long time. I remember making a video on the snake shot uh, attachment way, way back at the start of the game. Um, before Akimbo was even a thing in this game, but as soon as Akimbo came out, it absolutely changed the game even more. These things are absolutely overpowered. The most overpowered things ever, I'd say they're up there with the Model 1887s from Modern Warfare 2. Not quite as good as them because they were absolutely unreal, but these are very, very overpowered. Definitely the most overpowered gun in this game. But in today's video, I'm going to be trying them out after the nerf, just to see exactly if they have been nerfed that much. If they're still a viable option, if they're still overpowered, we'll find all that out in today's video. I'm going to hop into a game of shipment 24-7, see what we get, close quarters where the snake shot is definitely, definitely going to thrive, and just see if they're still as overpowered as they once were. Okay, shipment domination with the snake shots. They have been nerfed massively in this game right now, apparently. Uh, I'm going to see exactly what this nerf is like. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm trying to kill that kid, I'm just going to get exploded. Why the hell am I trying that? The snake shots would never have been able to do that anyway. So far though, I'm not really seeing any major changes. It seems to be, I mean, look at that, that kid just got absolutely destroyed. And there's a guy right behind me, what is going off? Shipment is always so crazy, but I feel like straight off the bat I'm getting a little, well, I thought I would get a one hit usually, I'm not getting them, so I feel like the damage range has definitely been uh, nerfed. But I mean, so far, they seem pretty decent still. This kid's not even playing. And this kid's shotgunning me as well. It's going to ruin my day this game. I already can tell. Kill this kid. Well, so far, they still feel just as good as they once were. And I often find, uh, in Call of Duty, uh, especially when there's an overpowered weapon, whether it be in different games, I often find in Call of Duty games, uh, when there has been an overpowered weapon, eventually that weapon does get a nerf. At some point down the line, this kid's dead. Um, that weapon still still seems to be very, very dom dominant in that game. Let's take Black Ops 2, for example. Um, this is what always rings a bell in my mind. The PDW was, uh, it was one of the best SMGs in that game all the way throughout the year alongside the MSMC and a lot of other ones. But the PDW uh, pre-patch at the start of the game was an absolute monster. Uh, and that gun and that gun got nerfed multiple times and by the end of the year that gun was still a very very viable option It was a very dominant weapon in that game uh, So I feel like, I mean look at this gun. It's still an absolute beast. I don't think we're gonna see this gun um, Not being used uh, for a long time I think this gun's still gonna be in your face every lobby people are gonna be running around with it still causing absolute mayhem and frustration I mean, look, I'm just charging in crates with this thing, and it's just bopping people's heads. I look at this guy, man. He is so mad, the first guy I killed then. Literally, such an unbelievable weapon. Uh, it does remind me of the Model 1887s, the shotguns from Modern Warfare 2. Uh, when you got them akimboed, you could, it was literally like a sniper rifle. But, I mean, when you're running around with a gun like this, I feel like it can be difficult to get some streaks. I'm going to try and get some streaks for us anyway. Uh, in this game, which I should be able to do because these are beasts. Just gonna play my cards right. Oh my days, I'm getting shot in the back. But if you guys remember them 1887s from Modern Warfare 2, then just let me know because I don't think a lot of people remember these days. They was insane pre patch. A very long time ago, obviously, Modern Warfare 2 was a very overpowered weapon game, but they was just ridiculous. And I mean, look at this. This, these guns are just causing absolute havoc and look at the right shield on my back saving my life from this VTOL Wow, it, I'm surprised it's actually doing this Can the VTOL not shoot my legs and there's a guy coming right here. And it's just gonna get bopped to the face and this kid 
I mean, wow. These are unbelievable still. They're still a very, very, very great gun. <clears throat> We're close to a VTOL right now, so I'm going to try and secure the VTOL. No, I'm not. I'm going to die. Up close, this thing uh, is going to be a very one-sided fight. 100%. Look at this, man. That was an assist, but that was going to be a kill anyway. There's still one hit. Well, I say one hit, two hit, if you will. I'm shooting both at the same time just to try and maximize the chance of actually getting the kill, obviously. As I'm sure a lot of you would do using the akimbo, but I've only ever used the akimbo four or five times uh, in a game. Uh, I've literally only just recently unlocked the akimbo just because I, w I wasn't using the snake shots, just, just wasn't. Uh, after I did the video on them, I never really, really used them again. Um, <clears throat> and that was a long time ago. We've got a VTOL, by the way. Didn't even realize it was on a streak there. But we'll take that anyway. Call in that VTOL real quick. <clears throat> as I die off the advance. Reload these. Stopping power loaded. Let's see what they're like with stopping power. Obviously, I feel like they're obviously going to just be better. Obviously, I could have... Oh, my. Am I even going to get to try it out? Because this kid's just going to beam me in the face. But I don't. they don't feel nerfed to me. They don't feel different. They still feel absolutely disgusting. In Warzone, obviously, a lot of the high kill Warzone gameplays and the, the Warzone Wednesdays, I think it is the Warzone tournament that's hosted by Keemstar, I think it is. Uh, there's no, I know there's a load of different Warzone tournaments that are hosted by loads of different people. But primarily the people who win these tournaments, I know uh, FaZe Swag, um, uh, Big Stars won a couple with Wars. They're, obviously they're running the snake shots <clears throat> every single time because up close, when it comes to them close range gunfights, especially in Warzone, it's make or break really it's just gun skill and there's so many great players in them tournaments it could go either way really could but if you're using a snake this trophy system what oh my god the trophy system is going to kill me it's behind me wow the snake shots in this game it just maximizes chances of them up close engagements and in warzone i mean if you saw my warzone uh, video just the other day someone come behind me with a pair of snake shots basically and they hit me twice i was full armor Full health, obviously. Hit me twice, and I was downed. I was in the gulag. They're just unreal. I don't think they're gonna be do that do it anymore. It might be a three to four hit, but the way you can fire these off as quick as you can, it's just a, such an unfair advantage. And I see Ninja and a couple of other uh, YouTubers complaining about these in Warzone. But the argument there is they're still available for you to use if you're not using the most overpowered weapons in the game. Then you're just setting yourself at a disadvantage, in my opinion. You know, if you've got someone running around with snake shots in your lobby, ideally you want to be running them as well, just to try and counteract them as best you can. Because if you're, let's say, Ninja, for example, he's going to run into Swag uh, on Warzone, for instance. Let's just say, for example, say he's running around with, let's just say, an MP5. I don't know what his Warzone setup is, obviously. And Swag's belting around with these snake shots. They bump into each other up close there's only going to be one winner and that is what that's my argument there you need to be running them personally and i think they're still going to be heavily heavily used inside of warzone as well where i think they probably are going to be extremely more annoying uh, i know i've run into them a couple of times and been absolutely melted by them it is frustrating because it's one of them weapons oh my days no skill weapon if you will like that's what i say about every shotgun in call of duty you know if I, I, I don't think they take any real skill to use. No disrespect if you just use shotguns or the snake shot. Because basically you just point and shoot. Um, you don't have to maintain your accuracy. I don't even have to aim. I'm just running around and shooting these people in the face. And I mean, look at that. Wow. I know there was. I know it was in the back, but one hits all day long. Such a fun weapon to use as well. Still, I would like to say this is a happy day. Um, of them being nerfed and that they're really not a viable option anymore but I don't think that's the case at all I think these are super super overpowered still and I think they will be for the rest of this game I think it's going to be an annoying thing like the 725 that's been patched multiple times and that thing's still an absolute monster you don't come across it hardly as much admittedly so maybe if they nerf these one more time uh, you're definitely going to uh, see them start to die out a little bit but uh, Definitely still going to be a viable option just like the 725 is, um, but that thing pre-patched. The 725 man was unbelievable. That was the most annoying gun in the game. In fact, it was the equivalent to the snake shots before everybody realised what the snake shots actually could do. Because admittedly, I don't think you would bother really putting that attachment on if you didn't know. But shotgun round in a magnum doesn't sound too appealing. It doesn't to me anyway. Oh my god, these kids are going to get destroyed. There we go. I know it's in the back, but this gun's insane still. Definitely, definitely, if you haven't already tried the snake shots out, I would try them out now whilst you can. Yeah, they've been patched, nerfed, or whatever you want to say. But they're definitely going to be nerfed again. 100%. I could put money on it and this kid's gonna kill me i feel like c4s take so long to throw these days now after this, this little bit i don't know if it's in my head 
That just seemed to take so long to throw. Oh, my days, a shotgun in the corner. Hate people who play like that with them. I can see people playing like that in Warzone with the snake shots and obviously shotguns in multiplayer and snake shots in multiplayer. That's the most annoying way you can play with them. Don't play with them like that. But either way, really, really annoying. Definitely the most annoying weapon in the game to be killed by, but definitely probably one of the most fun weapons to use. 100% to be honest I really don't know what they could do with these guns they definitely need to be nerfed more as you can see by this gameplay I don't know how many kills I've got we'll see at the end but I'm just shredding these guys up close as soon as I get into an up close engagement I'm near enough I'm not gonna say every single one because I haven't winning every single gunfight just for the simple fact is I'm just bopping kids I mean look at that guy there I didn't really shoot back but he was on a heady uh, free hits still but it was just I wasn't even trying to hit this kid I was just hitting him anyway and that's just that's just makes them so good as well. You don't have to be mega accurate. It's just gonna hit anyway, and it's just a beam, an absolute machine. And that kid's absolutely destroyed me. Wow, absolutely beam me. But honestly, they've been nerfed. In my opinion, I don't think they've made a massive change. 82 kills there after the nerf and they're a machine still. Okay guys, we're back in the lobby. This is the Magnum class setup I use, the snake shot class setup, whatever you want to say. This is what I use. I don't know what's best on it. I've never really experimented with it too much. I've just come across it an awful lot. And I threw this class setup together for this video and this is what I believe is probably the best setup in my opinion, uh, with the Akimbos anyway. They're an absolute machine still, so, so overpowered. Yeah, they've been nerfed, but in my opinion, they're still going to be around. They're still going to be super annoying in your lobbies. I don't think you're going to see these disappear anytime soon. So get ready to be snake shot in the face a hundred million more times whilst playing this game. But it is what it is. Like I said, the argument is you have access to use this weapon as well. So if you're getting snake shot in the face, then just slap it on your class and snake shot them back. You know, you might as well. It's a fun weapon to use. Yeah, it's annoying to be killed by. Definitely, especially in Warzone. But it's very fun to use at the same time. I can give you a massive advantage, especially in these shipment 24-7 playlists like that. Literally my first game of the Akimbos. It's one take and I get 82 kills using the... This is my first time, not my first time using the Akimbo, but like the third time. Super, super fun weapon to use. But anyway, guys, I'm going to have to end the video here. Make sure you try them out for yourself. Make sure you uh, tell me what you think of the gun as well. Do you think it has been heavily nerfed? Do you, can you tell a noticeable difference? Me personally, I can't. It is what it is. But anyway, guys, thank you guys ever so much for watching. If you are new around here, make sure you are smashing that subscribe button. And if you did like the video, make sure to smash a like. It does mean a lot to me. Make sure you are following me over my Instagram and my Twitter. Links for both of them are in the description. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. I hope to see you guys on the next one. Peace.